I'm live on both places, baby. Let's go. Let's just react to this percent. It's 12 minutes. Let's check it out. I already got spoiled. I already know what's up. So let's check it out, though. It's okay, we get spoiled. I just come out of work. I literally started as soon as I got out of work. So. We'll keep challenging ourselves to create new ways to enjoy Pokemon, and we hope okay, they have to say this for the uh, what you call it for Pal World. They're like, oh, do we not understand that Pal World uh, exists now, and uh, it's a real big competitor? So uh, we are trying to innovate now. <laughs> yeah, like don't Today, go with don't go with Pal be... World. Don't go with Pal World. Stay with us, please. <laughs> Let's the first go, of these Terra Raid battle events will begin tomorrow. Ooh, ooh, we okay. You... Mighty Venusaur. Let's go, dude. I'm actually very into the uh, Pokemon Scarlet Violet Terra Raids. I feel like they're a lot of fun, especially to do with a uh, Scream of Dragon. So it's pretty cool. You will all enjoy these raids. Pokemon Go. Let's still play a little bit. Battlefront. Dude, Battlefront, dude. It's all about Hell Divers. Pokemon sleep. Creeper Dragon's been trying to make me do this, but I, since I sleep so not naturally, this doesn't work. You like just put the Pokeball right next to you. But I don't know. <laughs> I already put it through the wash. Maybe if it was like attached to my watch, like my Samsung watch that I got for Christmas. Maybe actually, it would be sick. How do I sleep? Well, I, I'm supposed to be sleeping right now. And then I wake up like around two or three or one. I don't know if you do military time, but like, I guess I will wake up at 1300 hours. Cafe remix. Hey, give me cool. Let's go, dude. Oh, is this the app? Oh yeah, you can get it on the Switch too, huh? Pokemon Unite? I, t I like this game. Just, uh, one of my friends took it way too serious. Oh, but I don't- yeah, I already knew this one. This one's coming. I didn't know that one came in, though. Dude, these are actually a lot of characters, actually. Get your, get your butt out of here, Pikachu. You got a pack. Pack of what? I'm no way, dude. Digital cards. I want that Hitmoli card, though. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just got mana culture, bro. Gardevoir. He's gonna get a low punny next. Just watch. And then you can make your decks. It says right there, deck. While you're on a date, let's go, dude. Hey, download this game. Oh, my boy over here, dude. A double, dude. He's dude, two girls, dude. One with a well, like, blonde one, but like sending it over, dude. I knew it. I need this because Magic the Gathering did theirs right after Yu Gi Oh! Of course. They were gonna want to do their own, but of of course they did that. A little bit better. I like this. Is like, trust me, trust me, girl. This 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 meowth card right here is gonna pay for our kids through college. I promise you. Please, please take my hand in marriage. That's what it seems like. You see this meowth right here, babe. You don't understand how perfect this meowth is. Payday. Payday, normal and energy, payday and plus two weakness to fighting. Trust me, it'll, it'll you know, open two packs per day at no cost. Because the, the interactive, uh, the interactive part is like pretty cool. Uh, I Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't even have that. I know they do it in the game, like when you summon a monster. But you, you guys saw like right here, like I like this part. 
Yu-Gi-Oh does like that. Obviously, like you'll see right here. Yeah, like that. Yu-Gi-Oh does that thing, right? And if anything, maybe the Pikachu will come out and attack the Sora, right? But this, 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 I don't see from Yu-Gi-Oh. Like you don't just tap it and then this comes out. You know what I mean? So that's pretty cool. And you get two free packs a day, so. That's not also not something from Yu-Gi-Oh! It does. Oh, and then you can trade, like yes. <laughs> Which is something that you can't do in Yu-Gi-Oh! I believe. Yeah, like, you get that from Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, in battle links. System. So you can enjoy a quick battle during the free moments in your day. <laughs> oh, they did this small version of Duel Links. Well, as you saw right here, it doesn't seem like... Well, it seems like you gift your friend the, the thing while you're on a date. While you're on a date with someone, like, oh, excuse me? Oh, what, what you see? Yeah, like, look. He's on a date with someone, right? You got a pack. They got the Eevee, dude. They got the Eevee, so it's like, oh, oh. It's like, oh, it's, give me one sec. I, I gotta take this. It's very important. And then just trade, yeah. And then sends it over. Well, to her, to uh, to her side, his side chick over here, dude. Friend, yeah, and there's a friends. Friends don't give random Eevees to each other, dog. Just one more thing. We'd like to end today's and here, presentation and here, and here's, one final video. Here's what I got spoiled. I thought it honestly looks the concept of it. The, because I only saw the, I really only saw the title. Pokemon Z and A or whatever whatever it's called for Zygarde or whatever his name is. It looked really bad. <laughs> for you all. Thank you for tuning in. Z plus A or whatever. <laughs> Question mark. Developed by Game Freak. Confidential. Tron Legacy. What is this? City. It's, it's it's from what's the Gen Six, right? Pokemon Legends Z through A Z Z minus A. So we skipped. Makes sense because we went straight to. For when it comes to legends, so then they're gonna do a. It's gonna be interesting. Omega evolutions are coming back. No way. No way, dude. Mega evolutions. Oh, to be quite honest, though, terrestrial eyes are just better forms of mega evolutions. So of course you're gonna bring him back. Even though they don't look as cool as Mega Evolutions, Mega Evolutions are look so sick. Every single one of them. But, uh, that now turn, it's like, yeah, of course they'll bring it back. They're like, yeah, yeah, we'll bring it back. But, it's crazy, bro. Oh, um, so you're too young to know this, but back in the day, 
Pokemon games used to come out in Japan earlier and, and then or over there earlier in Japan than the rest of the world basically. Or more specifically America. So people would be able to play the game like a week, two weeks, maybe a month in advance. <clears throat> yeah, so you're too young for this. You you've grown up with the pleasure of getting games here <laughs> like almost the exact same time. So, like, le leaks would come out from, like, previous, uh, well, when the game released over there, leaks would come out over here, and we'd be like, oh, dude, this is, this is, a, uh, you know, this is that guy, that guy, oh, I'm just, for say, I think they still did it with Alola, Alola, uh, with Ultra Sun, no, I don't think Ultra Sun and Moon, but with Sun and Moon, and then you'd be like, oh, dude, who's this legendary, and it'd be in Japanese. But that's why it means simultaneous, like, like it will come out, like, at the same time. Which, I don't understand why they're promoting it. Like, the latest ones have been coming out, like, almost the exact same time. If I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Editing Karibo here. Just wanted to throw a little info dump in here. So, up until X and Y, every Pokemon game was first released in Japan, then North America, and other places in the world. X and Y mark the beginning of worldwide release dates. Editing Kribo out. It looks like it's their answer to, uh, they want it to be their answer to, to what do you call it? They want it to be their answer to PAL Worlds. Because come on. I mean, either way, even if we take into consideration that this game is coming out, right? And uh, even if they do want it to be the answer to PAL Worlds, this game has already been in development probably since 2020, um, since The Last Legends came out. So there's no possible way they came into the conclusion that PAL Worlds was going to be such a big thing. Um, my fear is is that someone, one of the higher-ups, will look at PAL Worlds and say, Let this Legends has to be like PAL Worlds. And we will not accept anything else. And then this pe these poor people will have to work overdrive to try to make it into a reality. Or make it more polished or whatever. But in, in reality, they should just focus on making a good, polished, good rendered, good looking Pokemon game. And you will always sell, you know. So even people are going to be like, this is, the, this is their answer to Pwell Worlds. No, this was already in development a while ago. Yeah, they're, I mean, this this could be their answer to Pal Worlds, but it's not not really is. I mean, it's been in development. They should just you know that's my fear. My fear is that they saw Pal Worlds and be like, we need to be the we need to continue. We need to go to Pal Worlds, which to be quite honest with you, Pokemon has never really done that. Like it's never really uh, been worried about competition. It's had competition before, but it's just never really been worried about it. So I just hope they're not worried about it now. You know what I mean? Nothing changes, so not Pal Worlds, but like Zygarde. So hopefully, we do get Zygarde this time, or whatever his name is. Because in the last game, we really didn't get it. I think we got him in Alola, and like his final form. I remember his Sun and Moon in Alola, and then Karibu Dragon was telling me all about it. It's very foggy. It's been such a long time since uh, Lo the Lowland re we've been in the Lowland region, so but it's crazy. But yeah, okay, that that was a direct. I mean, the percent. So I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, I like this. The fact that this and you could trade and stuff like that. I feel like someone's gonna get stabbed because they didn't trade their favorite Squirtle card. But hey, you know what? It's America, baby. Land of the free, home of the brave. And yeah, I, I like the Unite, even though I don't play it anymore. I, I like the Unite. I mean, Unite was fun when you had friends that didn't really care. But when your friends care as much as my friend did, it's not not that fun. And I like the immersiveness of the of the Pokemon that's coming out. So, and it's interesting. They I think this is the first time they developed a smaller version of the Pokemon game. So I'm more more like a small like it seems like it like your field is only three instead of six, and then this looks cool. There's Pyroar and, and everything. That little panda one right there. 
I'm bad with names, so don't 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 kill me. But this looks cool. Oh, dude! Hopefully they bring back movie. <laughs> Alright, well that was the Pokemon Presents guys. What do you guys thought? Let me know down in the sec comment section below. Well, I think I think it was fine. I mean again nothing too memorable except for the Legends. But Legends isn't coming out this year, so it's coming out next year. Probably the same time the other one came out, so January. That's smart. Let them take their time, let them finish up the polish the game, so so to speak, so but it's gonna it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be my first time playing X and Y, really. Or so it's gonna be fun for me. I'll stream the games, obviously. And uh, Megas are coming back, baby. So that'd be cool. Other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate. It. Don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on my other social media accounts. Other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching. Stay vigilant, and see you guys next time.